Forge Mining. Very happy to be here with you. Um, today we're going to be going through setting up an S19 Pro. Should you use NiceHash or not, that's up to you. There's F2 Pool, there's pooling, a lot of different things. So if you want to use those, you for sure can. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you today how to set up NiceHash, walk you through it, and talk about some of the benefits and how you get started. So today we've actually got an S19 Pro. It's at 110 terahash here, and we're gonna go ahead and set it up. If you notice, there's nothing that shows up here yet because we don't actually have any settings saved for the pool. So let's go ahead and open our nice hash test account. You notice on here, we've got uh, just some test items that are uh, in flight from things that we test. When you go to open your nice hash account, there's different ways you can do different stuff. You can either utilize NiceHash, which has some pretty good functionality, or you could use uh, F2 Pool, or you could use Poolin, like we mentioned earlier. The decision's up to you. Everything that happens when you use um, NiceHash gets paid out in Bitcoin, regardless of if it's a Bitcoin machine or not, because what you're doing is leasing out your hash power, and they're paying you in Bitcoin. If you want to do specific mining certain coins, you can go ahead and do that, get to F2 pool. You can look at merge mining for certain machines to make more profitability and increase that. So essentially we're going to go through here. When you go to first set up your NiceHash account, you're not going to see anything here at all. Um, it's, going to show, it's going to show zero active rigs. Um, you're going to click on mining and there's not actually going to be even anything here for a test account perspective. So. What we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to see the screen. It'll look a little bit different for you. Click on the mining and then go to download miner or add ASIC. So there is a question some people have, should I download the software or not download the software? I would say, you know, if you've got an ASIC and you're into NiceHash and you're going to be with it for a while, you could download the specific software that they have for your miner that you can flash and we can talk about that in another tutorial or you can just connect your ASIC device. Go ahead and click that down from the drop down. Super simple. Just type in S19 Pro and then you're going to have two options here. We're going to go ahead and click on the bottom one and then worker name. We're going to go ahead and add. We're just going to call this Stellar Forge Test. We'll call this 001 dot Actually, let's do StellarForge001 as the account, and then we'll do 001. So you can do anything you want to. You could call this Farm1, Worker1, right? Your naming convention, or you could just put your name in there or whatnot. But I would encourage you, if you're going to have more than one, just make sure you get a name that you're going to remember. Okay, so we're going to go to select the algorithm. Obviously, depending upon the machine you have, you're going to want to, you're going to, want to select the algorithm that you actually are, are going to use. So if you're not doing a Bitcoin machine, in this case like S19 Pro, and you're doing an L7, once those come out this year, you could be selecting a script on here. We're going to go ahead and look for, let me see, I think I passed it, um, SHA-256 ASIC boost, just specific for this. And then we are in the center of the United States here in Kansas, Missouri. So it doesn't really matter which we pick. We're going to go ahead and go with East Coast and then we're going to copy out the stratum URL and the username here for this. So let's go ahead and copy it. And we're going to go here and we're going to go to pool one and paste. And then we're going to go here again. And we're going to take this actual worker name we're going to paste that there. And then we're going to go with our password is optional. So you can add whatever you want to here. We're going to use that. When it logs in, it actually uses this miner name. So it thinks that if you are logging into someone's account, um, you're doing them a favor. So that's why the password isn't as important as this, plus that uh, string up at the beginning sort of takes care of some of that. Let's click save. And then sometimes you have to do a reboot depending upon which machine it is, but, but this one should actually just take you directly to uh, the configuration. So what you're gonna see here is we're gonna give it a second and then we're gonna look at the dashboard here and then we're also gonna go here into the actual uh, nice hash again. You don't have to save anything from here. It just generates that. Click exit out. There is one machine offline. 
that I brought online earlier. I'm going to remove it, delete it, and then um, we're going to watch this new rig come on here in a second. It's just going to take a couple minutes for it to log into the pool and get up and going. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at StellarForgeMining.com. Also, we do have hosting available, and um, what our facilities look like are right now we have um, fully air-conditioned spaces, so you're not putting your stuff into a container that has uh, climate outside or wind or water or anything. We actually supply all of the stuff that you need to get going at a low rate every month, so you can um, buy more miners as you want to. That was one of the things uh, for us that's how we started this business is we got into it and then we started getting more miners and then we started realizing we could, you know, move some stuff for other people and we started getting uh, people moving forward with us. So uh, if you are interested in hosting, reach out to us at StellarForgeMining.com. Okay, so you do see this here now and it will take over an hour for this to actually auto populate with what the actual mining statistics will be. And then the speed will also be increased over time, but you have to give it a little bit of time to get there. Then if we go ahead and we go back to our dashboard, we're gonna see we've got our speed here. It's gonna be adjusting with our miner name, all that stuff, mining address, and what the connection is here. Real-time hash rates normal, network status normal, fan speed normal, and miner temperature. If you guys do have these at home or you're thinking about getting one, they are warm right? They're warm. They're not going to work with your regular 110 outlet. Uh, you're going to have to have uh, heavy power for this and you're going to have to have a good air conditioner. And that includes even in the winter time. Um, so very happy to be able to do this video with you. We will talk soon and hope you're having a great day. Bye.